And the city attorney is sending his own message when it comes to gun violence. Lock up your guns. Rasha Goel has more on two parents being charged after their teens reportedly made shooting threats at local Los Angeles schools. City Attorney Mike Fuhrer is on it when it comes to storing firearms. His office recently filed criminal charges of unlawful firearm storage against two North San Fernando Valley parents after gun violence threats were allegedly made by their teens at two local high schools. It's imperative that adults lock up your guns. For goodness sakes, lock up your guns. It's the law. There's no excuse not to and it could make the difference between life and death. Police say they found two revolvers, a semi-automatic handgun, and more than 90 rounds of ammunition at 59-year-old Robert Christie's home, whose 16-year-old son allegedly made threats to other students at Chatsworth Charter High School in February. In the same month, 50-year-old Dazo Asguera's son also made threats to another student and on social media at Granada Hills Charter High School. Officers found a fully loaded semi-automatic handgun in an unsecured bag in a closet of the home and seven rounds of ammunition. Imagine what would happen if a student who was upset, who was threatening to shoot someone else, got access to your gun. All this coming in the wake of the Florida school massacre. LA officials are keen on investigating school safety threats and are asking parents and kids to report threats to the school police. We will follow up on all of our threats and any threat that has the potential where a firearm's involved or we have information that a firearm may be present at the home of a student or an adult where they're staying at. Our detectives will aggressively follow up and we will pay a visit and we will ensure that our young people, our students, do not have access to the weapons. The parents in these cases face a charge of a maximum penalty of six months in jail and a $1,000 fine. I'm Rasha Goel for LA This Week. Since the February 14th Florida tragedy, the L.A. school police has looked into nearly 75 school threats.